Hi you guys, it's me Julie. Thanks for coming back. This is my third video I filmed in a row, so my hands are beat up. Sorry about that. We are doing a jewelry unboxing today and we are gonna start with Jenny Bird. Whoop, whoop. Now the Jenny Bird prices will be a little bit higher than what you're used to hearing from me, but that's because that's where Jenny Bird is priced. So we're gonna start with that. If you see anything you like, this is all Jenny Bird by the way, there's 14 pieces. If you see anything you like, um, just email me. My email's down in the description. My mama and me at outlook.com. And um, give me a timestamp and a picture. And, um, you know, we can set up payment and you can have the piece if you're the first one. I will make a sold list in the um, comment section if anything sells. Please, please, please. Uh, be sure to go back two videos ago. Um, the picture will be a bunch of brooches. Um, and check it out. We're going to be giving away this piece right here. So the information's two videos ago. Uh, okay. So did I tell you everything I need to? Okay. So prices I tend to give you guys here are typically lower than what I could sell on eBay. Um, but slightly higher than my starting bids on whatnot. And the reason for that is I try to give whatnot has to start at a lower price. It's just the way that whatnot works. Um, so the prices that I give to you guys are what I hope the auction gets to on whatnot. So if you buy here and now, um, what will happen is, um, you will secure the fact that you won't, you know, pay higher than this in an auction on whatnot and you will definitely get the item. So that's what buying now does. Uh, so I know that Jenny Bird definitely um, has some age on things purposefully. This one looks a little weird to me. Um, that's probably the back side, I would assume, but that seems like a lot of wear. Why don't you guys tell me if you're familiar with Jenny Bird? Um, this looks okay. Okay, so let's just start. Sorry, we have four. Um, this stuff that I go, guys, I'm probably not going to put on whatnot because whatnot starts much lower, and I don't think this would that would be a good place to sell this. Okay, so I got 14 pieces of Jenny Bird. I actually looked these things up because I knew what I was getting, um, and I keep thinking there's a little wear on this chain, but I don't think there is, guys. Maybe it's a little bit darker in places. Can you see that? Um, I don't think it's noticeable. Okay. Let me give you a length on this. This guy has a 14 and a half inch drop. It does have an extender. There's the Jenny bird and the pendant is about two and a half inches. It does have a little wear, but Jenny bird stuff, it seems has wear or like that, um, that look to it. So this piece is called the Lennox necklace. Okay, I saw it on Poshmark for $45 and I will offer it to you guys for $30. Okay, $30 on the Lennox. I'm going to keep this stuff in frame today or as much as I can so you guys can see it the whole time. Okay, this necklace is called the Bowie necklace. It's really cool. Isn't that neat, guys? A little bit of scratching on there. Um, see, this is what I mean. Everything's like antiqued. Uh, the necklace, the chain, maybe a little wear. Not horrendous. Does that mean Jenny Bird? I would assume. This is definitely her necklace, but I don't see a hang tag. Oh, you don't need one when you got that. <laughs> okay, let's give you a length on this one. I'm betting it's probably about the same, maybe. No, wrong, Julie. 16 and a half inch drop, has an extender, and the pendant itself, the Bowie part of the Bowie necklace, is three inches. This one's really cool. So, I saw a sold on Poshmark. Let's see. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I've got notes here, and yeah. Okay. So, I saw this listed somewhere for $45 also. So I would do this one also for 30 for you guys. See, look guys, this chain is tricking me. Like it seems lighter here and darker here. So I just wanna show you that just in case. 
Okay, this one, again, looks like it has a little wear. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. There is some wear back here where it goes behind your neck. Um, the ad did not say wear, which kind of stinks, but that's okay. 16 inch drop. The pendant is three inches. I mean, I think that looks kind of cool personally, but um, it is Jenny Bird. Wear right there. No extender on this one, guys. This one is called the Shield of Glory Pendant Necklace. It's out of stock online, but it was being sold for $85. But um, I will do just the $30 like I've done on everything else for that. $30. Now this one, this one's a conundrum. This is the back, which would go against your skin. It says um, Murata, 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 which I looked up. Where is it? Hold on, I have it here, guys. And I think it's Sanskrit for devoted. Another thing that I found, it could mean that helping others fulfills you. Like it makes your day. And that kind of actually leads me to something I want to tell you guys. Um, I am going to start doing something that I'm so excited about. It is Jenny Bird. See right there? I want each time I have an auction on whatnot or sell on here, 8 inch drop with an extender. This little pendant is um, two and a half inches wide. There is some wear. Um, this is the Marathi necklace, Marada, excuse me, um, Crescent Moon. I saw it for $58 and I also saw it, no, $58, oh, and $89, but this one's obviously not in awesome shape. Unless it's supposed to look like that, which could be the case, guys. So I'll do this one for 25 25 if anybody's interested. So anyway, helping others is really close to my heart. I've told you about um, animals, how much I love animals. And um, helping animals is massively part of who I am. So I really want to start doing something where there's some jewelry that can be purchased for a cause. And each auction, each video, or each week, we're kind of supporting a different cause. Something along those lines. Don't have it totally worked out yet, but I do have my auction that's coming up on Whatnot, um, which is this Saturday. I don't even know if this is going to be right for putting this video out day-wise. Okay, anyway, it's this Saturday, October 5th, 2020, uh, 2022, um, at 3 p.m. Eastern on Whatnot, and I'll be doing designer jewelry. Um, it's also for sale right now through here up until the time of the auction. And um, what I'm going to do is there's three pairs of Kate Spade earrings. And I think everybody, well, probably not everybody, but I think a lot of people love Kate Spade. And if you know about Kate Spade, you know that she had a tragic end. She committed suicide, which is so sad because I personally think she was brilliant. I love, love, love her handbags. Anyway, I have three pairs of earrings for sale, either here prior to the auction or in my auction. Um, and I'm going to um, donate the profit from those. Um, actually, it will just be all of the money from those. Um because that's fine with me <laughs> and I don't, I won't get into it, but two pairs I found in jewelry lots. So I didn't really pay for those. The others I paid and wore myself cause I love them. So I'll just make that a donation, the entire amount. Um, and we're going to donate it to suicide, um, prevention. I'm not sure which, um, where yet, if somebody has an idea of where it should go, tell me because I'm open to ideas. But I'm thinking that would be fun. I was looking at new necklaces like that were dog shaped that I could have for sale. We could, you know, support animals one week and do different things. Um, maybe support the homeless. Maybe, you know, just do something. Let's give back a little bit. I That makes me so, so happy to do that inside. So we're going to figure out a way to do that. We know this one first. Kate Spade, suicide prevention. That's what we're doing. I think it's going to be amazing. So anyway, I gabbed for too long. These guys um, are, I think they're just called the leather bracelets with the curb chain. Um, cheapers. Okay, gold curb chain with leather. Saw it for $60 on eBay. 
um, and 65 on Posh. I couldn't really, I believe it was this one. I couldn't really find these. These are really cool, guys. You can wear them at either um, an eight or, hold on, a seven. I believe that's correct. Wait, so if this goes here, let's just, let's just figure this out. If it goes here, it should be, if it goes there, it's a seven. Okay. Guys, I think I totally told you the wrong thing. I think it's going to be a seven and a six. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's see. A seven and a six and a half. And they all are the same here. So let's say we just do these. There is some wear on this one. Do you guys see that? I think it's totally wearable. A little bit of wear on this one, but it could be a part of like the Jenny Bird look. They all have JB right here, which stands for me, Julie Brown. Well, if it was big enough, I would keep one of these. I love it. Um, so let's do these guys for... Um, uh, oh my gosh, my brain is not working. Give me two seconds. Uh, I gotta do math. <laughs> math hurts. Okay. That was horrible. I'm sorry. Okay, let's do these for 25 a piece. Wow, Julie. Silly me wrote down what they were selling for and not what I wanted to sell them for, but I am also opening this in seeing condition with you. Um, so that took a second. Apologies. Okay, so this cup is so cool. I love this. This is like right up my alley. I would rock this any day of the week with any kind of outfit. I love it. It is a magnet clasp. It is, they call it a cuff. I could not find this one. I don't believe, did I ever find this one? I don't think I did, guys. Oh, I did, I, I lied. I did finally find it. It took me forever. There's a similar cuff that they have for sale called the Austin Cuff, and it's everywhere. Um, Jenny Bird. And it is, I feel like I can get you a better measurement if I do it on the mandrel. Let me do it. It looks small, but I don't know. Hold on, coming. Wow, it is kind of small, guys. Five and three quarter inches. Five and three quarter inches. So this one's called the Sunray Cuff. And I saw it for $92 new online. But obviously, this is not new. It does have a little bit of wear. Not horrendous. Kind of goes with the feeling of the Jenny Bird, I think. A little bit of wear, that's kind of a little bit there. I think it's okay though, guys. Like it's totally wearable. It looks like it belongs there, if that makes sense. Like you can tell everything's antique. So it kind of is okay. Get what I mean? Get what I mean, Jelly Bean? Um, let's do this one for 30. This one's gonna go for 30. Okay. We're getting there. Okay, so two rings, guys. These are the Orion rings, okay? One is silver tone, one is gold tone, and they both have these, you know, they're different. Do you see these ones are like kind of yellowy and these ones are more clear, okay? Um, they're in pretty good condition, not bad. Do they say Jenny Bird in there? They are a little worn inside, can you see that? And it does say Jenny Bird. Let me get a size on these. Almost lost it, guys. Seven and a half on the gold tone. Seven and a quarter. Let me measure this one again. Oh, that looks cool in the camera lights. Do you see it? Yeah, seven and a half on the gold tone. Seven and a quarter here. And this looks so cool. So it almost looks like it changes color depending on what the light's doing to it, guys. Let me take it out of the lights. So if it's in the light, it does that. If it's out of the light, it kind of looks... Is it a mood ring? Guys, it might be a mood ring. I think it might be a mood ring. I think it's changing color. That is so neat. Seven and a half, seven and a quarter. I saw these online. The, the only one I could find had a black stone. And it was for $48 on eBay. So I will do these for $30 a piece. And I have a feeling this is a mood ring. 
as it is definitely changing, which is so flipping cool. Yeah, I really think so. All right, so $30 a piece on the rings. Jenny Bird. This bracelet right here is called the Moon Song Cuff. It does have a little bit of wear, but do you guys see it's the stages of the moon? How cool is that, huh? It does have some wear, but like I said, everything's antiqued. It looks like it belongs there, and I am not just saying that. It really does. Jenny Bird. Let's see what this one sits at. This one sits at a six. So whoever had this jewelry had really small, dainty little wrists. Okay, so the Moonsong Cuff. I saw for $84 on eBay. I believe that one was new. So we will do this one for... Let's try 35 on this one, okay, guys? 35. Okay, this one and this one. The person that I bought this from, see, I think that's a mood stone too. I'm going to hold my hand here and see if it changes. Let's see. We'll do an experiment. The person I bought them from kind of had these as a pair and these as a pair. And they look really cute together. I agree with her. Has it changed, guys? I think it is changing. Okay. So... Um, this cuff, I don't think I ever found it anywhere, guys. Let me just check. I'm sorry. This is probably annoying and I, I, I apologize. <laughs> um, I never found these. I never found these. That's the problem. Yes. Look, mood, mood stone. Really cool. Jenny bird somewhere. Looks like a lot of wear through the camera, but it's not really. So, um, I know this one was going for 84 new. Let's do, uh, let's do 30 on each of these. And if you want to buy them as a set like this, this and this, or this and this, and who knows, maybe they were sold that way. We can definitely, um, do a little bit better of a price if you buy both. Okay, and um, lastly, we have one more piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, yes, 14. This bracelet is called the Chamber Cuff. Okay, clamper, does have wear in there, guys, does have wear, but this part does not, which shows. Where's the Jenny Bird? Jenny Bird, where are you? There she is. Um, this cuff sits at a six, but it could open a little bit wider. Okay, depending on what you like. Um, I saw this for 30 on Poshmark, 42 on Macari. No, I lied. I only saw this new for 125 online. So I will do this one for 45. I think that's fair. I hope my prices are fair. I try to make my prices fair. I welcome constructive criticism, guys. If you're telling me something that would help my show be better, tell me. I want to hear it. I'm all for it. But do it in a nice way. I would love to hear it. And I would probably tell you whether or not I agree with you or not <laughs> in a nice way also. Okay, so I think the Jenny Bird jewelry is a little more worn than I thought it was going to be. I don't think it's unwearable. Um, I think the prices just have to be a little lower than I was thinking, which is, is fine. Um, again, this won't go to auction. This is going to be offered to you guys and then put online most likely. Okay, so I think I'm just going to push Jenny Bird to the back. And I hope it's out of you because I know some of you really like the clean, clean setup. I think it's out of you guys. Okay, cool. Let's move on. Before I do that, I want to talk to you guys. Do you see this cool Labrador, Labrador right ring? It has a lot of flash. This is one of the sterling silver rings I bought. This one I'm keeping. But I have a sterling silver show coming up on Whatnot on November 12th, 2022, 3 p.m. Eastern. Those are not cracks. Those are in the stone, by the way. Um, and it's going to be all sterling silver and I am going to start showing it to you guys starting next Monday. So however many days it takes me to film, I'm going to show you all the sterling I have to offer. I'm going to offer it to you guys first 
at the prices that I hope that whatnot will get to. And then, um, you know, you guys have a chance to buy it before it has to go to auction and potentially go higher or somebody outbid you kind of thing. Okay. And then whatnot starting bids will be a little lower. Okay. So my next bucket of jewelry, let me just put a handful in front of you because I feel like when I dab and there's nothing there, that is like massively boring. Okay. So, um, yeah. What was I going to say guys? <laughs> Okay, this bucket of jewelry. I know what I was gonna say. This bucket of jewelry, um, Mama, my your blah, 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 blah. Mama, your jewelry lady, I believe is her name on whatnot. Um, sells stickers with her and her daughter's faces. They both sell on whatnot. And her daughter bought this lot of jewelry from her mom. I hadn't been in the room. I don't know if maybe she hadn't gotten any sales yet or something. It, and her daughter bought it. But it, it was probably something along those lines. And her daughter said, anybody that buys a sticker, you can have my lot of jewelry. So I had just come in the room. I didn't totally know what was going on. And I was like, well, I'll buy a sticker. I didn't know what the lot of jewelry looked like. Excuse me. Um, jeepers. I'm losing my voice here. Um, so anyway, so I bought it from, I bought a sticker and I got this free lot of jewelry. I have no clue what's in it. So let's look at it together. This first piece I'm seeing right here is Chico's, which is awesome because I'm not sure when you guys are going to see this, but I am doing a designer jewelry sale on whatnot this Saturday, which is November 5th, 2022 um 3 p.m eastern and it's gonna be all designer jewelry it has been shown here first if you go look at previous videos but this video might come out on saturday or sunday so i'm not sure if it's past apologies <laughs> this is cool guys five strands chico's a little bit of wear on the silvery pieces this is definitely going to go in my show i would do this for ten dollars and i'm putting it right in the designer jewelry okay this one barrel clasp good condition wood pieces that's cool really fall i forgot to tell you the length of the chicos i will fix that in one second this one is a 13 inch drop and i would say oh my gosh the ladybug came uh this shorter oh my gosh go go be free look guys it's ladybug season here it's a thing. <laughs> I moved this ring from here to here and look, that looks ridiculous. Okay, now I need to put her somewhere else until I can put her outside. Can you go up here, please? Come on, I got stuff to do. I don't want you to get hurt. Okay, sorry, saving the bugs one at a time. And now she's gonna fly and go somewhere. Oh, baloney. Okay, forget the lady. Oh, she's on me again. Okay, just stay there, I don't care. Okay. This is cute. Um, how about, I'll do this for $5. $5. Oh my goodness. Fly away, friend. Fly away. I didn't get you the Chico's length. Let me do that. Chico's has an extender. So I'm going to give you the length to the shortest. 7 inch drop to the shortest. 12 and a half inch drop to the longest. Oh, she flew away. Bye, friend. Okay. Do you know those actually aren't ladybugs? They're, they're a different breed or species or whatever, but they look like ladybugs. This is acrylic, guys. Looks like it needs a little cleaning. Barrel clasp. A little thread hanging out there. Um, 14 and a half inch drop. We'll do that for $4. This is neat. What is this? Maybe it's just acrylic. It feels really neat, though, guys. Oh, you know what I wonder if this is? That um, tegua nut, the um, natural ivory, they call it, or vegan ivory. I think it might be. I have some, um, like, in the whole form, if you guys ever want to see it. It's kind of cool what it actually really looks like. I think that's what these are. This is cool. All right, it has one of those, yeah, has one of those things that you tighten by doing like so. But that looks weird over there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so I don't think she's able to be messed with anymore. She had a boo-boo. She had an accident. 12-inch drop, guys. 
with this, and it comes down to a Y here. Uh, let's do $5 on this. I think it's still awesome, even if she had a little boo-boo. I have to write down these things I tell you, like, oh, I'll show you a tegu. I think that's how you say it. I have no clue. I found it for the first time in this amazing little thrift shop. Not thrift shop. Um, fair trade shop. This is cool, guys. Is this Chico's? It kind of has a Chico's feel. It is. It's Chico's. Um, anyway, and they had it in dyed beads. They had it in whole form. Seven inch drop, guys. Really cool. All the rhinestones are there. I don't think really think that's where. I think it just needs to be cleaned. It says Chico's right there. It has an extender. Let's do $8 on that one. I'm putting it right in the designer jewelry lot. So it's a cool fair trade shop. <laughs> Merry Christmas with horseshoes. Very interesting. It says transfer 1995 made in China and it's a tack pin. Hmm. Okay. $2 if anybody likes that. All right. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so, so sorry. That was ridiculous. I have, I got my new, um, my new camera stand and it tilts now, which was really, really important, but it has this like bar off the back of it that, you know, like a camera guy would tilt with. And it has to stay there. So that basically is like pinned in my chest almost when I'm showing you things. Oh, here's the sticker. <laughs> they like to say, get your buck a lot. Mama, your jewelry lady. That's her. She sells jewelry. Misty girl with the job. Um, I don't think she sells jewelry. She just does other stuff. So here's my sticker I bought and I got the jewelry for it. And if I take a picture of me with this sticker somewhere out in public, maybe out to dinner or something, they send me jewelry, which is kind of cool. Maybe I'll do that. That'd be fun. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we got. We got a little wooden bangle, kind of beat up. I'm probably going to put that in craft, guys. We got some faux pearls. We have some faux pearls. It says Claire's. A little Claire's place. Eight and a half inch drop on the faux pearls. They're actually really pretty. They've got a lot of shine. Um, let's do three dollars on the little Claire's. Ooh, I like this. I wish this would fit me, but it won't, I'm sure. Gold tone. Um guys, I think it just has to be cleaned. A little bit of wear, maybe, right there. Can you see it? Tiny bit. Really cool cuff bracelet. Sits at seven. And look, it has some movement to it. Really cool. Okay, let's do um four dollars uh some bracelets we're just gonna put in craft right here probably this one too it's stretchy but the stretch isn't great and there is a little um saint or something on there i'm just gonna check if that's anything because sometimes they are guys check your rosaries and all that that's all going in craft this is something somebody made with clay, I'm pretty sure, polymer clay, to look like this, <laughs> to mimic, I think, like a labradorite. Nice job. That's fun. That takes actually a little bit of work. You gotta work in um, metal foils into the clay and use a transparent clay and a colored clay and get a really good consistency. That's going in craft. And I would say that's like possibly a dyed howlite bead there. That'll be in craft. A uh, little pair of hoopies that have, whoa, seen better days. We're going to put those in trash just so they don't infect anything else. Just in case. And a body clip. Nose, ear, navel. Oh, it's so you can, it's a fake one. And it's way cool. You guys, you will be way cool if you wear this way cool not just kind of cool way cool <laughs> oh my gosh I'm being stupid sorry um okay how about two dollars on that two dollars so guys I've told you before I used to be a teacher that's what I went to college for and I taught for like seven years at a private school and um we dressed up for Halloween and my husband and I um had a Harley at the time 
we do not have a bike anymore and we don't choose to ride. Everybody can do whatever they want, but we saw like two different accidents and it like was like, no thanks. We're going to stay off the bike. But anyway, um, just be safe. If you're out there, be safe. I'm going to put this in craft. It's just plastic. Um, anyway, so I had, we had gone to bike week. I live in New Hampshire. So bike week happens here. Make sure none of these say anything important. Um, and we had bought chaps and a vest and all that stuff. Like everybody does at bike week. So maybe it was a bad plan. This is broken. going to go and craft. Maybe it was a bad plan, but I decided to dress up as a biker for Halloween because I had everything and you know, it was easy. And I put like a fake, <laughs> a fake nose ring on. Um, and one of my parents was so kids, parents was so, this one's kind of cool, guys. It's like enamel. I'm going to still put it in craft. Craft for that. Oh, that's kind of neat. Craft for this. Anyway, they were so angry that I was not setting a good example. And I had never craft for that. It's missing stuff. I really hadn't seen it like that. And I was young. I was in my 20s. Maybe I wouldn't do that now. Craft. But she was not happy with me. And I, honestly, I was kind of embarrassed uh, that I hadn't thought of it. <laughs> okay, all this is going on craft, guys. Craft pieces are a dollar. If there's anything you're interested in, email me. My email is in the description. My mama and me at outlook.com. Um, oh, I wish this was in good shape. This is cool. Going in craft for a dollar. Send me a picture and a timestamp. Mm, just a stretchy rhinestone guys two dollars um and we can get you your jewelry oh man i saw this and thought it was cool i'm like oh that's neat but then you go over here and mm, not so neat going in craft and this is cool let's see if it has all of its rhinestones so far so good so far so good fingers crossed guys fingers crossed <gasps> It's good. Any marks? This is nice. I like it. Typical little wear on the edges for a gold tone cuff. Six and a half. Ah, I'm going to say six and three quarter. It's like the oval shape. Four dollars on that one. Four dollars. Anyway, so tell me, what would you have thought? Now, this was a long time ago. It's like 20 years ago. So, you know, people might think a little bit differently now. Um, You know, it's not as weird, but like. Like, teachers have tattoos now and things, and maybe people don't think that's good. But anyway, um, I think I'm going to end here now, guys, but I'm going to give you a little teaser. I have this bag of estate jewelry, all vintage, and it's awesome. And that's what I'm going to show in my next video. All right, so that's what we'll do. We'll have a little debate in the question. Everybody be kind to everyone. Everyone's allowed to have their own opinion, okay? And everybody's opinion is valid because feelings are never wrong. So... Tell me, tell me what you think. Do you think I should have dressed up as a biker at school when I was teaching school? I was in an elementary school. I actually had a multi-age classroom. I taught third, fourth, and fifth grade all together with an aide. Only 13 kids in the class because it was a um, private school and it was just a different kind of setup. Anyway, tell me what you think. Let me know if you want to buy any jewelry. Come back to see this. A couple videos back, go back and enter for a chance to win this. Come to my auctions on whatnot. Same name is here. You can just look for me. And um, just remember, you can be anything you want in this world. So please choose to be kind. I appreciate you guys. Bye-bye.